I think the idea of this project is that it's about memory and it's about how a place can have a specific memory for these young people. But also I think what's the interesting mixture in this project is that the young people are working with older people. So a young people's memories of this place will be different to an older person's memories. Morning all. Hey, look at this. His, his floor appears to creak. It suggests to me that maybe there's somebody buried under the floorboards who could become a character in the thing that we're going to make up, because this is a very old school. And it could be some old character. We could call him, what's an old, what's an old fashioned name? Your memories can be important, that just because you're an ordinary person living in an ordinary place, your memories are just as important as anybody else's. Winston's a nice name, it's Winston somebody. I'm going to call his first name Winston, then I'm going to go and get a book off the shelf and point to a word, and that could be his second name. Yeah, so I'll just go over here. He might end up being called Winston, page 28. <laughs> this is an old, old Firth character that we're going to make up. Winston somebody. Oh, what a great name. Winston Happened. <laughs> what a fantastic name. Winston Happened. Winston Happened. What a great name. What a great name. Winston Happened. Is buried under the floor. Where which part of home Firth was he from? I don't think he was from town. Yeah. Head Edge, from Head Edge, wasn't he? That's right. He came from Head Edge. He came from Head Edge. What did he do? Oh Winston. We're thinking a long time ago, so he wouldn't have had any of these kind of modern jobs. What would he have done? Yeah. He worked in a mill. He worked in a mill, he did or not? He came from Aid Edge. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> he worked in a mill. That's great. So, just before break, we're going to have a go, perhaps in twos, at writing down his last words. He can use some of these old words. We've got some old words here. Some old, we can use Homeforth or Yorkshire language here. Because we're celebrating Old Firth and Yorkshire words. I think often so, people think that dialect is dying out. And we always get people saying that dialect is a thing that's fading away. And it seems to me that it survives. And so you'll still get young people in the playground here speaking a kind of dialect. I think what does fade away is actual specific words to do with mill work, to do with mining work, to do with farm work. And that's what some of the older people here will be able to preserve for them. What music can do um, is it can find a way round the words to find um, rhythm and it can work with rhyme to find melody. You can find a way of putting music to it and often it helps reinforce the memory as well because um, music is in a diff it's stored in a different place in the brain to, uh, to where words are and often you find people actually will remember, they'll remember words through humming a tune. We're going to make a song up, because we're making, making songs up, that's what we're doing, everybody. And we're going to be, I was thinking about the teachers that we used to have. Can you remember what any of your teachers' names, Pip? Mm. Who did we have? Mrs. Marsden. Mrs. Marsden. Right down the bottom end, where the children were. Mrs. Marsden was down the bottom end. <laughs> Can you remember anything about Mrs. Marsden? What, did, what kind of thing did she wear, Pip? Oh, mm. uh, long skirts. Right. Mrs. Marsden was down the bottom end 
in her long dark skirt. What was she like? Was she all right, Mrs. Marsden, or was she a bit of a terror? She was lovely. Lovely. Good. The next one was Miss Oldfield. Can I write her up? Miss Oldfield. So we've got Mrs. Marsden was down the bottom end in a long dark skirt. Miss Oldfield. Oldfield. Can you remember anything about her? What she looked like, maybe? Yeah, she had projecting teeth. She had projecting teeth. <laughs> Miss Oldfield's teeth. Protruded. What a lovely word. Miss Oldfield's teeth protruded far enough. That is lovely. The next one was Mrs. Bruce. Mrs. Bruce? What was she like? She was nasty. Oh, Mrs. Bruce. <laughs> she was... In what way? She had a big ring on her finger. Oh. If you did anything wrong. Oh. Ah, rubbed top of your head with a ring. Mm, bit of a nucleus. <laughs> I think that dialect will continue, but it won't continue in the same way. I think a lot of the old words are dying out. But I think what will replace it is something even more exciting, something that will include influences from Eastern Europe, from across the world, from Asia, from Africa. If we can celebrate the way that languages come together, from the old and the new, in this small town, in this small school, in this small town, I think that's very exciting. Happy day, happy day, day to every day. Because they are pretty much every day. Cloudy days are every day. Yeah, Mr. Bruce. No. It's Mr. Yeah. No. Every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. 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 Sandpit. Sandpit, slate and happy days, happy days. Sandpit, slate and pencils. Happy days, happy days. Sandpit, slate and pencils. Happy days, happy days. Happy days, happy days. Sandpit, slate and pencil plaster. They're so catchy these songs that we just can't stop singing them. <laughs> Shall we stand up? Let's do that. Often old people see young people as a completely separate anthropological tribe who are totally different to them. And in the end, what they are, are these smaller human beings with ideas, with language, with memories. I want the older people to go away from this thinking, I am still a creative person. Because often older people end up thinking, I've had my time. Whereas what we've shown today is their time's still here. And they can think of ideas, and they can think of songs, and they can think of words, and have those words valued. 
this is part of a continuum where they see themselves as creative beings, which is what they are.